What's up, everybody? Hey, it's Nick. Hey, we're going to try to finish up this game today. Then we can move on to something else. All right, let's do this. Load game. Ah, uh, how's everybody doing? Everybody like this game so far? I'm enjoying it. I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty fun for me. All right, so there's a thing that he has to have, right? So he's got water. He's got the brush. Now, if we remember right, we got... Uh, he had forest soap. Now, we, we know he had it because it's in one of the streams that we got it from going upstairs. Literally got it from up here. What the heck is going on with my phone? All right, so if you go in here, right, you pull the cord, and there's nothing else in here, right? There's just George's bed. Look at George's bed. I guess this is George Washington's bed. Can I use it? Now. Never thought about messing it up. All right. Okay, so we're going to pull the cord. <laughs> Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Now that she's busy, we're going, no, come back upstairs. God dang it. All right, now see the soap? We're gonna take the soap. Oh, okay, now we got it. Let's get out of here. Now, we got two. So, the water. water's all sudsy now. Nice. Nothing to clean in here. All right, now we go out. All right. No, not that way. Leave. I would have a problem with the controls today. I can tell you that. Oh. Thank God today is my Friday. All right, now. It's totally covered with crud. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. Dum -de -dum. We're cleaning it. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. That's exactly what you wanted, right? There goes Ben. Hey, Ben. What do you want? Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. <laughs> All right, so. Now I gotta get him outside. it this time what are you doing I'm inventing you simpleton what's it look like I'm doing what are you inventing it's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy 
what are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, and you look dumb enough. Uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Yeah, that's right. Now, go up to Ben Franklin's room. Let's go. Ah, Jar Jar. These would look better on velvet. That is literally a picture of Jar Jar Binks. I can't believe I didn't notice that before. Hi. Sorry, can't talk. Busy making history. How does he know that? I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister? Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. No, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Now! Now! Now, in the name of science, now! Oops. What part of the word? Uh. Look, it's very simple. I say now and. Got it. Marvelous! Thanks, Ben. Oops. <laughs> Look, it's... Got it. Marvelous! Just give me some time, Ben. There we go. Now! We. Handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. <laughs> Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. Gee, thank you. Wow. 
Thanks, Hovey. See you later in about five minutes. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. This isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Second century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. Thank you. 
All right. Out we go. Parking lot. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Thank you, masked man. Maybe this one. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? Drat. It must be one of these. That's the other room. All right, so let's go in this one. Here we go. Nope, it's Green's room. Okay. Uh, is it Washington? Washington, but uh, yeah, it was Washington's room. Open door. Did he just eat something? gave me one like this for my birthday. Ew, it's soaking wet. Gross. <laughs> That's nasty. I'm gonna close that door. See ya, weirdo. figure this is about $876,600 worth of quarters. Okay. quarters.
Whew. This ought to warm him up. Just the tentacles winter, uh, winter things. Hello, mice. Good riddance. Crazy. So you gotta do something in the past to. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah. Here's a suggestion. 
It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. What do you think, gentlemen? Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes, it's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. No? Good, and so shall it be law. What's a vacuum cleaner? Open the hatch. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. <laughs> Got it. Look at that sucker go! He just keeps running and running and running. But it's all hooked up down in the lab. Contract that was supposed to be signed.
No, oh, come on, that's not the one I wanted. Want to see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? Ah. Uh... My Pony Express stamps. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamps. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those. Negative feelings. <laughs> Pick up forty five things that don't belong to you. That was the achievement I just got. What do you suppose happened to Hamilton and Madison? Yes, I'm certain we told them to come on Thursday. I'll wager Madison's with that woman who makes the cupcakes again, and Hamilton's probably gotten himself into another fight. I bet they show up late and take all the credit for our work. What do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. 
no, I heard that, you moron. When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator, get me a travel agent. This is an emergency. He's still making his pitch. Fatty's in the way now. I'd better find a different one. Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post light speed delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. That should do it. Where did you get this diamond, anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Great! Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi, Laverne! Wow, I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sledge o -matic. Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... <laughs> You can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall! Didn't you see the fly? We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. Stuck here the rest of my life, listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now, wait just a minute. It's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. We're going to turn off the sludge o and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. 
but there's three of us. Well, sort of. Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. Yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Oh, okay. Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You ten there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge -omatic. No one is to touch the sludge -omatic. Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. What do we do now? Whoa. It wears off. Aha! Run for it! Damn. <laughs> the battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Maybe he won't find us. You who, where are you, human? Aha! Uh-oh. Take that. And this. Drat. If only the hardware store carried larger batteries. If only the hardware store carried larger batteries. Yeah, we got a bowling ball. Hey! Where'd he go? I don't know. I just keep running. Could you not pick that option, right? Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. 
You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Eek! Run all you like, you insignificant insect. <laughs> the human race is doomed. <laughs> I've already won. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes, you'll see what I mean. Sounds like that's all Dr. Fred's fault, really. Hmm, I suppose you're right about that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Why don't you zap Dr. Fred if you hate him so much? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Oh, drat. Ah, uh, surely we can talk this out. Hmm. Talk? Surely. Wait! You haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine! <laughs> all mine! Okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Here is done. Now we can go home. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. Oh, all right. Hmm. Show attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. I know I did. It was a pretty fun game. So um, really takes you back to the old days of playing place. So. 
to something else. I'm sure we're going to do, but that's it. an achievement for sitting through the end credits. That's pretty funny. Alright everybody, I'm going to go to sleep now. It's been fun. Fuck you guys late. Don't forget, if you like it, subscribe, hit the whatever button and get uh, updates and all that crap from us. Alright, back to later.